Hi there! Welcome to Isabel Explains. In this video, I'll be showing you how to find the minimums and maximums of polynomial equations, no matter their degree, by using a graphing calculator. Now, if you want to learn how to do it by hand, I made another video just for you. If you're ready to jump in, let's go! As we all know, polynomials are expressions involving x raised to a whole number power, or exponents. If you remember the definition of whole numbers, they are never negative, which makes our lives a lot easier. But if you're working on an exercise that has negative exponents, I recommend you watch my video on rules of exponents so you can turn them into positive first. All right, let's get to it. There are two possible types of minimums and maximums on every polynomial. They are either relative or absolute. A relative maximum is that point or points on the graph which have a maximum y value relative to those points close to them on the graph. A relative minimum is that point or points on the graph which have a minimum y value relative to those points close to them on the graph. An absolute maximum is that one point on the graph which has the largest y value. And the absolute minimum is the point on the graph which has the smallest y value of the entire graph. Sometimes polynomials are going to have only relative minimums or relative maximums, or they will only have absolute minimums or absolute maximums. I must point out that because the domain of all polynomials is all the real numbers, meaning they go from negative infinity to positive infinity, you can never have both an absolute maximum and an absolute minimum, because that just wouldn't make any sense. Now, I know that finding these points by hand are becoming a thing of the past, so in this video I will show you how to find the maximums and minimums of a polynomial by using one of my favorite tools, Desmos. Alright, so the first equation that we're going to do is f of x is going to be equal to, and I'm actually going to be using the keyboard on this one right here, I'm going to be showing you the shortcuts on how to do it without the keyboard later, but for now let's just stick with this. So this is going to be 3x squared minus x plus 7. As you can see, this takes a little longer, so that's why I prefer to just do it with a keyboard, and I'll be showing you guys how to do that. So as you can see, as we are typing in, the graph is being formed, so if we actually get to the graph and we zoom in a little bit, we're going to see how Desmos just marks it for us, right? So right now, the minimum value is just going to be 6.917, which is actually a absolute minimum because this is a quadratic equation which means that it will have only an absolute minimum or maximum value in this case it is a minimum the second polynomial that we're gonna do is f of x equals x to the fourth power plus 3x to the third power plus 4 and if we zoom out we're gonna see here how it actually has some turning point but what we're going to be focusing on right now is actually the minimum value, which is also an absolute minimum, and it is going to be negative 4.543. The third example is f of x equals 2x to the fourth power plus x to the third minus 3x to the second power. And again, it shows it to us right away. So we go straight to the minimum values, which we see that we have two this time, the first one being negative 2.038 and the second one being negative 0.647. And we also have a relative maximum here, which is going to be zero. So this graph has an absolute minimum of negative 2.038, but it does not have an absolute maximum. Next one is, we're going to kick it up a notch and this is going to be negative one third x to the 6th power minus 1 5th x to the 5th power plus x to the 2nd power plus x. And right here we notice that this one actually has two relative maximums and one relative minimum. The first relative maximum is negative 0.133. The relative minimum is negative 0.249 and the relative and absolute maximum is 1.467. Last one, we have x to the 6th power minus 13 over 5, x to the 5th power minus 9 over 2, x to the 4th power plus 7 over 3, x to the 3rd power plus 3x to the 2nd power. And this one is going to be a little different because we actually see a minimum that is very, very far from the other relative minimums and maximums. 
So the first relative minimum is a negative 0.233. The first relative maximum that we see is a 0.274. Then we have a second relative minimum at zero and one relative maximum at 0.881. Now, if we scroll down, we got to zoom out a little bit here and scroll all the way down. Probably have to zoom out a little more. Here we go. And we're going to find the relative minimum and actually absolute minimum as well. We zoom in here again, and that would be negative 177.3, which is pretty far from everything else. So we, if we zoom out, we're going to see this is actually the shape of the graph if we were completely zoom down so that's why it's important that you actually zoom in into those crests so that you can see where the actual minimums and maximums are located but there is no absolute maximum in this graph that was easy right thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful please go ahead and give it a thumbs up leave a comment subscribe ring the notification bell tell your classmates about my channel and if you want to learn how to do all these exercises by hand Click on the next video, you masochist. I'll see you next time.